Have you heard about funnel packs? Funnel packs are pre-built marketing funnels that generate leads for your agency and save you time. Their website claims that it's everything you need to be up and running with a new marketing funnel in under an hour. So today, I'm going to put that claim to the test. If you want to check out funnel packs for yourself, you can go to theadminbar.com forward slash funnel packs. And for a limited time, you can use the coupon code theadminbar to save an additional 10%. Each funnel pack comes with everything you need to make a complete marketing funnel, including a lead magnet, landing page, thank you page, opt-in form, welcome and nurturing emails, sales emails, and implementation videos. At the time of this recording, there are a few different options to buy. There's a special founders offer, which includes your choice of 10 packs, the web design funnel pack, which we'll be using today as an example, and the website audit pack. There's also an option to purchase a duo combo pack and get two of the packs right away. There's currently about 15 packs on the roadmap that will be released soon. A couple of disclaimers before we get started. First, this is gonna be my absolute first time using funnel packs, but I have been speaking with a developer for a long time, so I'm pretty familiar with how the system works. And second, I've built a lot of funnels before. So this isn't gonna be a complete walkthrough of how to build a funnel, but you are gonna see with using funnel packs just how easy it is to get it done quickly. And third, once I hit go, I'm gonna start the timer and there's gonna be no editing. So if I make a mistake, it is what it is. But just roll with me and let's take a look at how quick we can get this done with funnel packs. All right, let's do this. So let's take a look first at what all we need to get started. We need a website to put our funnel on. We need an email marketing system. I'm using a brand new MailerLite account, which has nothing in it yet. And then I'm also using my funnel packs dashboard. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is find the funnel pack we're gonna use. In this case, we're gonna use the web design funnel pack. All right, so we have, it looks like a few tabs up here with all the assets we'll need. So first let's look at our lead magnet. Here's a demonstration video that goes through everything. We're gonna skip that and just get after it. So we need five steps to a winning website and we want the US version. I'm gonna open that. Uh, here's some graphics. I don't think I'll be needing those. I'm not gonna be customizing everything in this video. So let's take a look at our lead magnet. Perfect. Let's save a copy of this. Download as a PDF. We're going to save this file and we're going to put it in our funnel packs folder and we'll just call this the same thing. Five steps to a winning website project and save that. Now I know we're going to have to send this to people so we're going to have to host that file somewhere so let's add this to our library. We'll select this, go to funnel packs and upload this document. Okay, so that part is done. That should get us everything we need for the lead magnet. Let's look at what we will need in Elementor, which is what I'll be using to build out my pages. Again, there is a video here. We're gonna skip that. Here is download the Elementor files. Let's open that and we'll save this as well. And we'll put this in here. And then the cover image, let's go ahead and save this as well. We'll need that asset and we'll save that. Let's take a look at unzipping the file. So we'll go here and we'll unzip all of everything we need for Elementor. All right, and I'm gonna delete that zip file for now. And then we should have our landing page, our pop-up, and our thank you. So let's go ahead and go into Elementor and go to templates, save templates, and we're gonna upload these. So let's import them. And I found it works a little bit better if you do these one at a time. So we're gonna do the landing page and import it. We'll do the pop-up and import it. And then we'll do the thank you page. You can see it's uploaded them all here in my library. So I need to create the landing page. We'll go ahead and go to pages, add new. And we'll call this web design landing page. 
This is just for our use for now. I'm going to put a FP at the beginning of this so I know it's for funnel packs. And we'll publish this page. And we actually want to make this uh, Elementor Canvas. For a landing page, we don't want our header and footer. So we'll go ahead and make that Canvas. And then we will jump into Elementor and import our template. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our templates and we're gonna find the landing page. So, landing page web design, here it is. We'll insert that. And I'm gonna change my background on this to white. There we go. And it looks like we got a few things we need to fill in here. So let me grab the logo. Actually, the site really doesn't have much of a logo. We'll just put this for now and maybe make that a little bit smaller. I want to change this color to match my branding. I'm not going to go into a lot of customizations, but we'll at least get it started. Uh, this image here, that's what I'm going to need, the one I downloaded earlier. So we'll go in here and get that PNG file and import it. So there we go, that's ready to go. And then let's also make these little icons match our branding. That looks better. And I'm gonna actually add a tiny bit of padding on the right of this to kind of separate those. Okay, so that gets us the landing page set up. I actually need to go set up a few more things in here while I'm at it. Um, let's just, oh, you know what? I didn't realize there was another section down there. Let's take a look at what that is. See, I told you, warts and all, it will be in here, and we'll see how quickly we can get it done, even if I screw things up. Ah, so it looks like this is for some testimonials. I actually have a row saved. I'm going to delete that. And I have, let's see, I have a featured on little thing that would work perfect. So I'll insert that. Uh oh, I shouldn't have hit yes on that last pop up box. So we'll have to go back and put this in Elementor Canvas. But that is not a problem. Elementor Canvas. And we'll probably have to go change the background to white again. Okay, now we're back to where we should be. And I imported this, which is kind of some social proof. It shows where I've been featured on. So we'll go ahead and save this again. And let's go set up our pop-up and thank you page. First, let's take a look at pop-ups. We're gonna open this in a new tab so I can have a few different things going here. All right. So we're gonna create a new pop-up and we'll call this Funnel Pack Web Design. And we can use the template that we already saved, which is pop-up web design. We'll insert that there. And here's everything we need eventually. All right. So we are going to have to set up some things on this form. But for now, that's really all we need with the Elementor pop-up. I would link this to my privacy policy as well. Uh, I don't have that handy, but we can get that figured out. So let's go ahead and publish this. We don't need any conditions, so we'll just hit save and close. I'm gonna leave this tab open because we're gonna have to come back to that in a minute. Let's also add a new page for our thank you page. And we'll call this Funnel Packs 
web design. Thank you. Doesn't really matter in this case. We'll leave it to a standard page. We'll hit publish. And let's jump into Elementor. So for this site, I actually have a transparent header and a dark background. So we'll probably need to make some changes to the template, but we'll take a look and see how it comes in. So here's the thank you web design. We'll insert that. I'm going to hit no this time like I should have last time. And yeah, you can see we got a few issues here. So first, let's change our background color to white to match better with this thank you page that's set up. That helps. And then it looks like because of my transparent header, I have some padding issues here. So I'm going to add, let's say, 120. Let's go a little bit more, 170. And we need to change this color to better match our branding. So we'll go with this dark blue. And then we need to add that cover image again, which is already uploaded. So we'll insert that there. And then it looks like we got some things to customize. So we can change this to my email, kyle at kvd.digital, and then change it to my name and my company, Kyle Van Dusen, KVD Digital. All right. So it looks like that's everything we need for the thank you page. We'll go ahead and save that. Uh, I don't think we'll need anything else on here except the URL for it. So now we have our landing page set up, our thank you page set up, and our pop-up needs some work. And our landing page actually needs some work too. But let's jump into our email marketing system. So we actually need to create a group to put all of these new leads into. So I'm actually going to go to groups. And I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call it uh, Funnel Packs Web Design. So I know which people these are. We'll create that group. All right, that group is created here. So what we're going to want to do is go into our pop up, which did I leave open? I did. Uh, we'll probably, we might have to refresh it. We'll see. We need to change the actions after submit. We could get rid of the email if we don't want an email notification. I don't mind getting the email notification, so I will just leave that for now. But I do need to add Mailer Light. I can go down here. I did already put in my API key before we got started with this. I didn't want to share that with everybody, so it's already in there as default. Now we can select our group, which is the Funnel Pack Web Design, and we'll connect the email field to their email, the name to their your first name, and that should get everything for the connection to the mail system. We'll also need the URL of the thank you page, which, you know, in Gutenberg, I'm not used to yet. So we'll copy the thank you page location and we'll go into this pop-up and we'll actually add another action after submit. And that's what we want is a redirect. This gives you a new tab here. We'll change the redirect to that thank you page. So now the pop-up is done. We don't need any conditions, so we'll save and close. And we need to make that pop-up show up on our landing page. So let's jump back into our landing page once again. And what we're going to do is change these buttons to trigger the pop-up. So for the link, we're going to change that to dynamic and pop up. And then we'll click the wrench and we want to open pop up and we want to open up funnel packs. I don't remember what I called it. Web design. There it is. So that will open that pop up when I click on it. And then we want to do the same thing to this button. I'm just going to copy this button, delete that one and paste this one back in here. Let's update that and preview it to make sure it is actually working. Boom, there's our pop-up. So we have everything on the website side ready to go. So let's dive into what we need to do next. Now that we have all of our Elementor files done, we actually, we're not going to use Beaver Builder, so let's look at the emails. So in this funnel pack, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emails. The welcome email that will deliver the lead magnet, 
some nurture emails, and then our final sales email where we actually want to get them to buy something from us. So let's see, we have a Google document with all the emails included. Let's open that in a new tab. And we're probably gonna be doing lots of flipping back and forth at this point while we set up all the email sequences. So here's the first email. I can see that the merge tag is different than what I use in mine, so we'll have to change that. Uh, it looks like there's some instructions here. Maybe some instructions here. We'll kind of look at these one by one. We're gonna set up all the emails, so we'll just go through them. So let's create a new automation. We'll go to automations here, and we'll create, oh, that was me testing earlier delete that one and start from the beginning. Create your first workflow. All right, so we're gonna call this Funnel Pack Web Design. I just like to keep all these the same so I know what I'm talking about when I have a bunch. We wanna trigger this when somebody joins a group and we wanna trigger it when they join web design. So that should do that. We have the new trigger setup. So what's the first thing we want to do? We want to send them an email and this will be our welcome email. So we have a few things here. Subject. We can just go back and copy this from here. Um, I need to get what that merge tag is. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that in here. But I do know I need to change the merge tag on there. So we need to come back and fix that. It's from KVD Digital. There we go. We need to design the email. So we'll go ahead and grab all this text that goes in the email, copy it. We're going to use the rich text editor because we just want a plain text email. And in here we'll paste in our content. It does add some extra returns. We'll get rid of those quickly. And then we'll edit what we need to. So first name, I know that merge tag isn't right. So let's hit personalization. We want name. So that's what we need. Curly brackets with a dollar sign in front of it. I'm actually going to save this so I can go back and fix this in the subject line. And of course I can't copy and paste. Ah, because this is in view only. Um, we'll just make a note of that and go back and fix that. I will actually do that in another window here. Okay, so now we got that. Now you can download your guide here. So we need to go back into our dashboard and grab that link to the upload we did for the lead magnet. Here it is here, let me grab that link copy that and we'll get rid of the word link and we'll just link it on the word here. All right, that should do that. Let me read through this quickly. Okay, so this is what he wants me to link the instructions to whitelist. So I'm gonna grab that link, I'm gonna click on instructions paste that in there and then we'll delete these instructions and we'll change this to Kyle Van Dusen KVD digital alright so we're done editing that let me grab that merge tag so I can fix our subject line and we're gonna change that there to the correct one okay so now we want to decide what to do next, which will be the next email. I'm going to actually add a delay in here, and I'm going to select this delay to one day and save it. And then I'm going to add my next email. So let's take a look at what we got. So nurture email number one. Here is the subject line. We'll copy that, paste it in, and design our email. So let's copy the rest of our text here. Copy go into our rich text editor paste it in let me grab my merge tag oops and we'll fix all those extra returns that might just be Google 
docs doing that. Kyle Van Dusen. All right, make sure there's no instructions. It looks like this one is all good to go, so we'll say we're done editing this one. And then we need to add another delay. We want to wait one more day. And then let's add our next email. Our next email will be this one, which here is the subject. Paste that in there and fix our merge tag. And we'll design the email. So let's grab the text from the email, copy that, rich text editor. Hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy flipping back and forth between all these tabs. Um, copy our merge tag, paste it in here, get rid of some of these spaces. As I'm doing this, I'm actually also looking for if there's any instructions or things I need to change. All right, so we'll change this to Kyle Van Dusen, and we should be good to go on this one. So that one's done. And we'll add another delay. Set that delay to one day. And add our next email. Here's the subject. Paste that in there. Get our good merge tag. And then design the email. Looks like this one's about smart goals. I like that. Obviously you're going to want to go through all these emails and make sure they say exactly what you want them to and they make sense for your brand or if you have things you need to edit. Uh, I would take the time to go ahead and go through all these but for the purposes of this demo you could absolutely just stick these in here like I am now and call it a day. So we have our merge tag. Doesn't look like there's any instructions. We'll change it to Kyle Van Dusen and done editing. All right, another delay. Make people wait one more day. And let's add our next email. So this subject is here. Copy that, paste that in there, design email, copy that. Feel like I'm getting repetitive at this point. that one done. I've lost count of how many we've done of these so far, but I think we're getting closer to the end. We'll add another delay, one day, save it, come in here, nurture email number five, copy this, paste that in there, get our merge tag, and design the email. All right. Done editing that one. I did just notice it looks like we're looking at the 
UK version of these emails because I'm seeing some things spelt funny. Um, so that would be something to look at and make sure you're looking at the right version. Of course, the right version for you might be the UK version. We'll add another day delay. And I think last we're going to have our consultation request. So this is going to be our sales email. So we'll go in here and add this last email. Fix our merge tag. And design the email. So this one we probably need to look at closely because we're going to have some sort of call to action for this. Um, and I don't have any check out or anything set up for this so we'll just uh, fake it till we make it here but let's go ahead and get it set up paste that in there all right change my name all right so I've recently set an up an online call booking system so I do have one of those I can link this we'll put this here's a link to my booking calendar that's the same link so we'll go ahead and change that so the point of this would be to get them to go and book an appointment with you so we're done with that. All right, we have all of our emails set up. So let's turn this sequence on and we'll go back to the automation. That automation is all set up. So we have our landing page, which opens up the pop-up. This will connect to the mailing system and send us to the thank you page and then we should be able to go in and actually get this email you know what let's just test it so let me grab this link we'll go in an incognito window we're basically done at this point but we'll make sure it's all working first all right landing page looks good send me my free guide I'll say Kyle and cheers at the admin bar. Send me my free guide. Redirected me to the thank you page. That all looks good. So let me go check my email here. It will most likely take it just a minute to come in. Ah, and it already got here. Now I can see I did make a mistake here on my merge tag in here. I forgot to fix it on this email. So that would be something to correct and a good reason to test. But you can see here, here's the first email with the link to go grab the lead magnet. We'll click that. Whoops, I linked that wrong too. So we actually got a little bit of stuff to do here now that we realized we messed some stuff up. It's always good to go test. So let's go back in here into the first email. That seems to be where I made the majority of my mistakes. And we need to go to this media library. I grabbed the wrong one. Y'all probably were yelling at your screen while I was doing it. So let's copy that PDF. Um, and in this email, we can download the guide here. Let's change this link to the link for the PDF. That is good on there. And then let's also make sure we grab our merge tag. Yep, I did not change it. So there we go. Save. All right, that's it. We are all set up. So I think this answers the question. Can you build a fully fledged marketing funnel on your website in under an hour? Absolutely. With funnel packs, I just did it in 27 minutes. Now, of course, I did have a few mistakes in there. Maybe I could shave that down to 25 if I really needed to. But you're also going to want to go back and edit some of these things to make them more match your brand, your tone of voice, make sure you get everything just right and in place. But the funnel packs are set up to be usable straight out of the box. So you can do it just like I did it today. And 
better than their claim of having it done in one hour. You can have it done in 30 minutes. So I hope you find this video useful. Below uh, in the description are all kinds of links where you can find the different packages to funnel packs, the coupon codes and all that. So I'd appreciate you using those links and we'll see you on the next video.